Oh, let's talk about yeah. Assassin's Creed. Tell you what, it's been a while since we talked about Assassin's Creed. We have. I can't wait until I the a new announcement and we can just talk about Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh, it'll be great. Well, I mean, you know, congratulations. You know, they're going to announce Ashraf's new Assassin's Creed Viking game, where it's yeah. again based off Shadow of the Shadow of Mordor Middle Earth Shadow games, and there's fucking you know fortresses to take and fucking setting. 800 AD or some shit and, and there's you're playing... a controllable <laughs> raven <laughs> is that true is it a controllable raven well that was, that... In, that was in the leak so probably oh, well, yeah yeah but you come on we know controllable raven most people um, what, what else is there the, the, um, should I, am I allowed to say the name of the main character or is that a cunt move to do <laughs> yeah I think so because we get, most of this has been leaked now I think has, has the name of the character been leaked yeah it has yeah <laughs> I feel like it can't if I like just say you know what I mean like I don't care but like we do it's I would pretty like to get much been on the podcast. I would point, like to get Ashraf but... on the podcast so. yeah so would I like to get Ashraf on the podcast yeah so I'm not gonna reveal his game and tell you all about yeah. like what's in his but game like right look now, everything like... that's been leaked is pretty much what we've been hearing anyway um so I look I would say there's a video I made covering it a while ago it was wait the really <laughs> There um, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's all it's all is. basically it's all basically true. Or like yeah, yeah, yeah. when we say from true, what it's we like know. we've never seen the game, but like from what we know and we I, I think we know. Yeah. So well, we know. We, yeah. Um, but we know every year. What <coughs> when's the last time a game we didn't know? Like how how much was I, I mean, telling all of you motherfuckers we didn't that the really next game was Empire. Greece with Odyssey? We're yeah, like, we did. Yeah, we I did. Mean, Once Jason Troy said it was Egypt, we're like we did know Empire existed. I mean, yeah, we, true, but I mean like, I was no, I was a thousand percent sure. I was oh, yeah, but, sure. No, so yeah, obviously so was I. But we, yeah. it's not like this year. Well, we hadn't been told Odyssey by the inside. We literally yeah, Odyssey, had inside knowledge, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Odyssey yeah, was right. the first I see, time, I think. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Odyssey was the first time we had inside knowledge. And we're like, yeah. we know like we knew about Cassandra and Alexios and mm-hmm. fucking the Eagle Mythical and beasts shit, like, and everything. Oh god, that was awful. When we heard I remember, that, I was, I remember, I was like, "There's uh, no way." Any I remember of that telling is true. you. I remember telling you that, and I'm like, "Look, it's true, man. I'm just telling you." Like, I spent a lot of time verifying the sources. Yeah, I was like, like, "I don't yeah, want to believe true, this. Man. I think he's got to be lying because it sounds so bad." And then it was so bad. So and you know, do you know what I really like about why we're talking about this is because I'm gonna clip this and put it on my channel and get views. <laughs> 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 uh, this is the Assassin's honey dick. It's just Creed like Ragnarok the Assassin's speculation. No, no, Assassin's Creed Ragnarok to be announced in February question mark obviously oh, what I'm going to call it yeah, that's you know what I mean one. imagine the views I'm going to get and also oh, yeah. they're going to they're going to listen to this podcast and be like this is a cool oh, podcast God, what yeah. is this it's the As Always podcast welcome hello um, everybody that's joining um, yeah yeah hey from that honey dick what's, what's up um, but that's so funny that is so funny um, oh man but you know <laughs> it's weird how Assassin's Creed has become this thing now like it i don't know it's such a different i don't franchise. know what it is it's nothing like, it's literally nothing like it was it, i don't even like, know how to look at it anymore like the way that the way that we do i don't even as well as i don't even different. think of the Ezio trilogy as the same franchise like it's literally like i don't need they're not the same thing yeah like there used to be a time like when unity was coming out where it all felt connected and like it was once franchise or it could still be it wasn't connected next. but it could still be connected yeah it was, like it was oh so they weird. could fix it now it's like <clears> there's n- it's so it's impossible it's really weird the way that we we handle it as well, like on podcasts or on YouTube or whatever. Like it's very it's a very different relationship we have with Assassin's Creed now. Um, it's more just like memes, and we just like to joke about yeah. it and talk about yeah, it for yeah. a laugh more than anything. Like there is no ounce of me that really gives a shit, other than yeah. Oh yeah, um, so like I don't care anymore. Like, That's the great part about it. I don't, yeah. I don't have to I, actually I, care about like, it. I actually don't care anymore as well. Yeah, like it, yeah, like cause yeah, before, 100%. like for a few years, it was like. Like, I don't care, but, like, I kind of do care. But, like, I'm really yeah. at this point where I really don't care. Yeah, Odyssey um, literally broke us. Like, it I, really I don't broke care. me, I don't, yeah. I don't care. I'll play, I'll play <laughs> Astro's game for sure, but, like, Astro's if game, it's good, yeah. I don't care if it's good. Yeah. I don't care like, if it has I, anything I to do with anything. I want it to be good, because I, yeah, I, I just like want it to be a, but I, I just like want it to be a good... Game. Ashraf game and that's the end of it and then the next game can be shit by who yeah. you know whoever makes it whatever like exactly. I don't care about any interconnecting story I don't care about a modern day I don't care no. about any of the main characters that are in it will it be a fun solo game to play because they'll never do the character again they absolutely never will um, will they do the scene again nah absolutely we'll get a sequel not. for Jorah will, will they with for Jorah oh yeah that's the name of the character by the way can be male <laughs> or female um, but it's the name's still Jorah Jorah sequel. Hashtag Jorah sequel. This is but, my Jorah. But you do play as an assassin. <laughs> uh, wait, what do you say? This is my Jorah. 
this is my hashtag this, this is, is my, my Jorah. Jorah and then it's just a picture of Jorah Mormont from you know <laughs> <laughs> from Game of Thrones yeah exactly that's how it <laughs> that'll is be, that'll be that'll be it's how it be sometimes some of it, that so. is how it be sometimes um that's so funny and the, yeah, I mean at least you'll play as an assassin because it's set yeah. like 800 AD like the yeah well the whole the whole point of the, the, the story is like you you start off as a Viking and then you go yeah. to England or something and then by the time you you come back you're an assassin and I assume that's all at the beginning of the game and then or it's the whole game or it's the whole like, game oh, roll yeah and the whole get the whole game like there's this huge open world but you can't explore it because the entire game is just set on do, in, do you know do, do, do you know what's so funny and we're going to talk about Assassin's Creed for a bit here right okay from what i'm about to say <laughs> what i'm about to say but it's right. actually not retarded it's actually interesting so okay. i now <laughs> see the assassins retarded. yeah i yeah. actually see the assassin's creed franchise and when i say the franchise i mean the beginning the first the first game i mm-hmm. look at the first game very differently now than i ever have i've I'm finishing in the process of finishing up my real history of the Assassins video. It has taken so mm-hmm. long. It is so hard to find footage, and I and I'm so worried about it. Like it stresses me out making this video because I want it to be good and I want yeah. it to make sense and I want to be respectful to the history and I want to get it right. And I worry every time I'm editing it, like a freak out and like cut something or then I add something else and I'm like fuck it. And you know what I mean? Like you're freak mm-hmm. out because you're dealing with like religious history. And you're dealing yeah, with yeah, realism, yeah. and you don't want to get it wrong, even the little bits. And you're like, what should, do I really need to dive into to make it make sense? And what do I just need to brush over because it doesn't matter? But mm. the way, how much the first game is based off reality is so crazy. Mm-hmm. That was the whole I purpose didn't, of it. I didn't like... understand just how, like, I've gone deep in my research. I've dumbed it down for the video, right? So it makes sense and it's interesting. Mm-hmm. But, like, I went deep with my... I spent so many hours just reading. Mm-hmm. Just reading. Hundreds of pages of shit. Yeah. About, like, learning everything I could know. And, like, you have to go back and, you know... Thankfully, I know a lot about religious history and, and Islam specifically. So, I that I could cover pretty quick in my head with reading and be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And that's this sect mm-hmm. of Islam. And that became this because of this caliphate split from this caliphate and you know, all that sort of shit. Sure. That I could go over. And in my head and understand it. Because it was hard, like, because one, you're reading it, but you also need to understand it so you can then explain it and write about it. Mm-hmm. But to think now, when I look back, and it now, just the idea that in Assassin's Creed, a fantasy game about assassins, where I'm no. like, before the 10th century, <clears throat> there were assassins in England and Vikings and Egypt, now pisses me off. Because I'm like, there wasn't, <laughs> was there. There wasn't until the 10th century. And then after that, I can believe maybe they went underground after that because they disappeared and the Mongols wiped them out. Mm-hmm. Maybe they did go underground after that. I don't know. Maybe they're still around today. I don't know. But I'll tell you what I do know. They weren't around before. Yeah. Do you know what? It's, it's, it's very strange because the whole concept of why they went underground is because of, like, Altea's reform because they'd become this, like... They were like living in a fucking castle on a hill, and they were, like, notor- they were, just... and they were notorious. Exactly, they were notorious. and that was that was the whole reason. And that's for the same it. with the real Weird. history. They they were became very notorious. I mean, they had to live in mountains and castles because they had to protect themselves, yeah. um, or else they would have been you know um, d- destroyed if they were to really live in those cities, like in little cults and in big bureaus. But they had thousands of people involved and it wasn't mm-hmm. it wasn't just they weren't all just oh we're assassins now like let's live in a fucking castle in the real world like they were a state of islam the the mm-hmm. nizari ismaili they were a real peoples that traveled from northern africa um and egypt and yes yes Cairo, actually yeah yeah okay you um, did it <clears throat> well hassani saba who founded the assassins he went from cairo where he studied um, and pledge himself to, to that um, sect of Islam, he got a lot to, bunch of followers. He's the one that took him to Persia, took Alamut Castle, and established mm-hmm. the order, and, like, being a state of Islam. But he didn't have enough followers to, like, go in the open field and fight this massive empire of Seljuk Turks. He had to develop these tactics to work in the shadows. He even took Alamut Castle from the inside. He didn't shed any blood when he took a castle. He That's made cool. allies in the town beneath the castle and ended up getting his way in um and taking it over from the inside 
and then he converted all these cool. people and then he spread himself over all these castles because if they lived in the mountain fortresses they couldn't be attacked they could defend themselves and they just send out their individual assassins to live for years as like servants to these viziers just to mm. then kill them like people were so paranoid about these assassins there were um sultans wearing chain mail just in case they got attacked any day that's pretty like mad. they were a really feared group of people but they weren't people that like oh they kill someone they run away like they were supposed to kill someone and then stay there and get found and take the punishment because they were going to be saved by god and they had paradise afterwards yeah it was a very much totally different from the games and very terrorist-ish type well yeah like in in reality like templars were weren't bad guys right like templars were sort of the the good i mean it's a bit difficult to say because it's morally gray but like well, if you I had mean, to if, pick if you're a English good side and, a bad and white, side. yes, you are probably on the side of the the Templars. Yeah, probably, probably. Yeah, true, I mean, but I would like be. the, the I would assassins be. were pretty terroristy. Like, yeah, yeah, but I mean, yeah, like you said, morally grey. But the assassins were, um, and even though they were an extremist uh, sect of Islam, and and they, they, um, I mean, they're a very interesting group. And and Hassan took the Quran very, very. Um, um, Strictly, mm-hmm. you know, that's why, like, people were telling me, Oh, f- by the way, Tal, fun fact about the Hashashans, which is what they're called, is um, you know, they smoked pot and stuff. Like, some people were tweeting me that, and I'm like, First of all, I know that, second of all, actually, not true if you read more than the f- a first paragraph of an IGN article. Um, <laughs> you know, like, mostly all the hash stuff was made up. Um, the- and Hashashan in Arabic. There's a multiple translations to one of it is actually Troublemaker, which is most likely what their name came from, but the European Crusaders heard about it, and then Marco Polo made up some shit, and it was the Europeans that mostly um, made them famous after the Crusades mm-hmm. by hearing about these people that lived in the mountains and talked about them and make, came up with the word assassin from Hashashin and said, oh, it's because they smoked hash and shit, but they were a very strong re- mm-hmm. Islamic religious group. They wouldn't be doing drugs. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. And there's no Islamic sources that or the enemies that ever said they did. Um.